From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of Evenings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. Breaking news as China gets a verbal warning from the United States. Do not take sides in the Ukrainian-Russian situation because this is not something you want to see. Viewers don't want to see this either. It could be a recession. All the latest details on that breaking minutes ago. But first, your Build Back Better Act. A major piece of legislation getting a major letter today. And what did that letter say? I have the breaking news on that March 14th, 2022 letter. To the White House, to urging them to pass the four stimulus recon. What does it say? I'll have the latest in this breaking news report tonight. Then we look at the incredible money of an $80,000 of checks now live. Millions of viewers of this channel have gotten the application on file. Have you? I'll go over the latest details. It's $80,000 of checks. Then we'll be looking at CR for Stimulus 2.0. The White House making a big move to do another round. I'll go over the latest tonight. SS300 major developing details as the Federal Reserve in the next 48 hours will meet for the March FOMC meeting and what will be looking at everything and what will they be saying everything hopefully about what's going on with those April interest rate spikes are uh, the latest breaking news about your SS300 in tonight's recording then six stimulus getting a new twist China is China coming to the aid of Vladimir Putin? It's breaking news tonight, and this is part of the equation for six stimulus. France, Germany, the United States, major sanctions against Russia, but is China coming to their defense? Not our defense, Vladimir Putin's defense. All the latest details of why this makes big news for you, because it's the onset of a potential recession. And we'll be looking at the energy, gas, wheat, soybeans, and bank banking industry that are changing by the minute with a big concern that Vladimir Putin's economy could have no value by the end of the week and go into default. All those breaking news and more as we go into a big night of America's most watched show in prime time. It's evenings allied and all these incredible details from Washington to your home heat up in tonight's recording with major twists happening by the minute, by the hour, and I have the latest details about that major meeting from China and the United States minutes ago about Vladimir Putin. The details start right now on evenings. Good evening, everybody. It's a big night with a lot of breaking news from the coast of Santa Monica to the coast of the Black Sea. I have all the breaking news developing by the minute. We're going to go over the Build Back Better Act, that major piece of legislation, and a letter released today about it. Then SS300, CR for stimulus, those $80,000 of checks now going live, the energy crisis, the Japan and the China equation, and then six stimulus plus the big money with third stimulus the viewers continue to get. We have a lot of money in tonight's recording, and we're going to start first with the Build Back Better Act. America's fourth stimulus package got a major letter today, and I have it for you right now. March 14th, 2022, evenings out late, Congress wrote a letter to the President of the United States saying for him to pass the Build Back Better Act. The letter obtained by LA News first detailed on Mornings LA Today Features legislators, House members, writing the president a letter saying they passed it and they wanted law and they wanted a law right away. I'll have more about this incredible letter in just a second. But when we look at the Build Back Better Act, what you need to know is the president assures the American people it's becoming law. Three clusters of checks, three add ons of checks, and a potential MSC. Let's look at that checks right now. Upwards of $15,000 across three clusters, and in cluster number one, Hazard pay. For my essential workers, one more year, the third stimulus got it law for stimulus would extend it. $4,000 of elder care, money for children, 
$3,600 for the young children as well. The $550 check for the Pell Grant and the big money for home repairs. $12,500 included in there as well for the purchase of your first home. That is the first of three clusters in the Build Back Better Act. The first add-on from here in Southern California. Maxine Waters got it in there. A little bit less than $25,000. Coming to you for the purchase of your first home. At the time of escrow from the federal government. It's huge. And that is the first of three add-ons to the incredible Build Back Better Act. The second cluster checks get even more. Pay leave and home repairs to weatherize your home. The paid leave is a lot of money. It is a W-2, 1099, you get it. How much? $75,000 or more, you get $1,500 $1, a week. Split in half if your annual salary is $35,000, and split in half if your annual salary is $15,000. Four to six weeks per year, W-2, 1099, you get it. But if you don't work and your salary dollar does work, they're going to get the check if they have to take you to the doctor's office. And that is the second of three clauses of checks in the Build Back Better Act. The second add-on comes with Bob Casey, just a little bit less than $250 billion for free home health care for seniors and people on disability. Then we go into the third cluster of checks, where we find true deliciousness for my seniors and also my farmers. More about my farmers later tonight's recording. I have breaking news if you're a farmer tuning in. When we look at that third cluster of checks, free internet for all checks, Farmers' checks, independent contractors' checks, and seniors' checks. Multiple. House and Senate, let's look at them. Dental, vision, lowering the eligibility of age of Medicare, hearing checks, and the Medicaid gap fix to provide years of workaround insurance to low-income uninsured people in 12 Republican holdout states, which is par for the course when we're talking about adding checks as recon. The other checks that would be added in there are MSC. MSC is a body of checks where you would get a check from the federal government on a regular basis. Let's look at that MSC right now. MSC stands for Multiple IRS Stimulus Check. This is on top of the existing checks of the Build Back Better Act that already pays you upwards of fifteen dollars to $80,000. Single individual, $75,000 less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you get it. Double it. Family of four, you get it as well. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, you get it as well. It's not income. It's not taxable. It's offered nationwide, not state by state. And it will go off the most recent tax return. So if you had a direct deposit that listed, that's how you get paid. Otherwise, in the mail. How much? Legislators represent they would pay $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. And that is the MSC, a piece of legislation that would be added on the Senate side to the Build Back Better Act. But what about that letter tonight? Let's go right into that letter and the facts and my opinion of the letter as well. A new letter unearthed by this channel that was released early to this morning, March 14th, was about the Build Back Better Act. And what is it from and who does it say? It is from those legislators, House members, the president. Not signing the letter is Nancy Pelosi. Other House members signed the letter. So why are House members who already passed the Bill Back, but let it pass, Bill Back Better Act sending a letter to the president? Not very compelling that people who should have been signing the letter are senators. Senators, what are you doing? Sign the letter with the House members. Number two, I don't like the letter. Why do I not like the letter? Because it doesn't talk about why Bill Back Better Act needs to be done. It talks about climate. Yes, it says the reason why we need to pass Build Back Better Act is because of climate. Not very convincing. And finally, the letter should have been sent to Chuck Schumer because he's the guy who needs to tee up the vote right today. Don't be afraid to vote, Chuck, because if you call the vote, you see if it's going to sink or if it's going to swim. Call the vote, Chuck, and if it sinks, then you modify the legislation. So good effort to make a letter and send it off, but not a good effort in content or who it's delivered to. I would have liked a little bit more. Now, the great news is that while Bill Back Better Act is not law, $80,000 of checks are. The fourth stimulus add-on, the homeowners program, is alive. And $80,000 of checks are being paid out. How do you get them? You become a member. And more about those checks in just a second. But in the next 24 hours, we are going to see a major event. Recession, yes, but also inflation. And this is your SS300. In the next 24 hours, Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, will have his first 
of two days of the March FOMC meeting. And that at that FOMC meeting, Jay Powell will tell you what he's going to do for March. We already know, but hopefully what he's doing for April. Why? Because you want Joe Biden to make that swap from COLA to inflation now in March, and at least in April, not in May. Let's go over the analysis. On Tuesday, March 15th, and Wednesday, March 16th, Jay Powell will have the two-day FOMC meeting. We already know his policy for inflation at that meeting. He will have a one single quarter basis point interest rate spike, which will not impact inflation dramatically. That's why Joe Biden needs to swap out COLA for inflation right now, the SS300. What's going to happen in April? We don't know, but Jay Powell is likely to tell us tomorrow, and I'll have it live on air on Mornings L8 at 9 a.m. What's at issue? Let's go over the equation. Your benefits are currently tied to COLA. Joe Biden promised as president-elect, president, and campaign for president all three times that he's going to swap out COLA for inflation. Inflation is at its highest price point of a generation now. So you want the swap to happen now before j Powell comes in and reduces it. The reduction he's going to do with a quarter basis point tomorrow and can impact us to April. So no worries for March, no worries for early April. It's thereafter that I get worried. Why? Because if Joe Biden doesn't make the swap to May, your inflation may be 6% by May. Jay Powell is going to give us indication for tomorrow, hopefully, what he's doing for April. And you got to hope it's not a half basis point. Because if it is, you could see a drop from inflation of 8% now to 6%. But what is the other breaking news? j Powell may be looking at the same data, which I'm about to tell you. And that data may signal he may have to come in more aggressively in April. Let's go over the analysis. Your benefits are tied to inflation. And it's tied to inflation when you swap out from COLA to inflation. They're currently tied to COLA. When swapping out from COLA to inflation, you want to be at the highest price point, the highest inflation. It's now. It's 8%. You don't want to wait for it to drop. So if they made that swap today, you'd lock in additional $200 a month. Not just this month, not just this year, a lifetime. That's why you want to make the swap today and not wait. But what if Joe Biden doesn't make the phone call this month? Then what? You're fine for early April because whatever Joe Biden sees for inflation will not be impacted by Jay Powell's pivot to tomorrow. Jay Powell, whatever he does tomorrow of a quarter basis point, won't impact the economy for at least 30 days. So you're fine to early April. It's late April where I get worried. Because if inflation is too strong by April, Jay Powell will do a half basis point, not quarter basis point. And what are the indications right now? He may have to. Why? Number one, last Friday, last Thursday, the CPI number came in for January, 8%. Like December, 8%. Number two. Last Thursday, j Powell's counterpart oversees the ECB chair, central bank, Christine Lagarde, says inflation is actually higher than we think. Number four, the Treasury yields to gay on Monday, March 14th, went up again. They went up last Friday. Why? Bond traders believe that inflation is tracking higher than the current market indicators are. And tonight, the 10-year Treasury note hit a Highest price point since July 2019, far before the pandemic, at 2.08%. Why? Bond traders believe that inflation is actually higher. This is all a big warning signal because Jay Powell may come in more aggressively in April. That is why you want Joe Biden to make the swap from COLA to inflation right now. Before Jay Powell comes in more aggressively in April, which will be felt in May, if Joe waits to May, your inflation may drop to 6% because of two interest rate spikes by then. Translation, Joe, make the phone call. Hashtag, Joe, make the call. Hashtag, Joe, make the call. Make the call to swap out COLA for inflation with the Social Security head. Social Security head. This is what Joe Biden said he would do as presidential campaign, said in his campaign, said in his presidential papers as president-elect at JoeBiden.com, and has said, said since then. This will raise your benefits up $200 a month now and then another $100 later this year because guess what? Inflation is going to fall later this year to 4%, but you want to lock in that 8% now to get that COLA raise across the board. 
Also breaking developing details tonight is that CR for stimulus add-on. Why? Because Joe Biden was unhappy with what Nancy Pelosi did last week. She took out his money for COVID from the continued resolution, and it became law. So the president said, you know what? You took out my money. I'm coming back this week, the week of March 14th, 2022. Press Secretary to Joe Biden, Jen Psaki, says we cannot sit around. We need money for COVID. And other representatives said the same thing. Psaki says, if we had the money to move around, we'd be moving around. Our assessment is we need more money. Translation, there'll be another piece of legislation this week. The CR that passed last week did not get a $2,000 stimulus check in there, but the legislators were watching this channel because they put stimulus in there. County stimulus. For the first time in 10 years, legislators who must have been watching this channel that got you a $600 stimulus check in December 2020, when viewers and the legislators said it doesn't belong in there, stimulus for citizens, came back now two years later and put it in there on a county level. How do you get this county stimulus? Reach out to your county legislators or reach out to your county local news. They have it locally. In the case of Georgia, it's everywhere. Now, going back to what's happening across the board, great news. As $80,000 of stimulus checks are going out, and those $80,000 of stimulus checks are the fourth stimulus add-on. Let's look at the map right now. The map tonight is true deliciousness because everywhere from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the Northeast to New England, there is a payout. Every state is paying out $80,000 approximately of stimulus checks in what's called the homeowner's grant. You ain't going to see it on broadcast media. You ain't going to see it in print media. You're only going to see it on Evenings LA because this is where you get you the big checks. It's coming up in just a second. And if you're a member of this channel, you've already pounced and gotten those big sums of money. Haven't become a member? Become a member because it's coming up after the commercial break. Then, one of the most shocking developing details. I don't want to scare you, but I'm scared. It is China. It's China trying to take sides in the Russia-Ukraine war. Not only militarily, but also financially. Yes, a major meeting happened just minutes ago in Rome between the leaders of China and the United States. I had the first details earlier today on Mornings LA. I have the developing details of what happened in that meeting. You're going to be shocked. I am too. Then, the new concern for six stimulus. It's happening. Six, fourth, and third are all happening at the same time. And while six stimulus, no less than two weeks ago on this channel, unveiled on March 8th was for oil and then wheat, Putin caused stimulus. Tonight, it's for also the banking industry and potentially, yes, you heard me right, China. Could China be the next sanction world economy in less than a few days from now? All the latest details unfolding across the board. It's dramatics like I've never seen, and some of the situation is very untelling. I'll have what's going on with China. Are they going to give money to Vladimir Putin to defend against Ukraine? Oh, boy. You're seeing it like you've never seen it. Then we'll go back to the energy situation at home and why that Build Back letter was about energy and not about what it should have been. I'll have more about that Build Back Better letter in the context of the energy shortage. It's a big evening to LA with a lot of developing details. See you back in 60 seconds with more on evenings. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home 
Home LL8 returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And the excitement continues as evenings LA go to big second half. A lot of major developing details in the next 24 hours. You want to stay with evenings LA late all day. Day tomorrow. Well, the Federal Reserve with that FOMC meeting tomorrow. Then also tomorrow, we'll have the latest details from the White House commenting on what happened with China today. Then also tomorrow, a potential piece of legislation for the White House, that CR add on. Also tomorrow, we'll be looking at the status of what's happening with inflation and the oil and energy situation across the board. But tonight, great news as $80,000 of checks are paying out. Let's go right into this. Yes, a major piece of legislation became law two weeks ago. If you didn't see it, you only saw on this channel. This is for a stimulus add-on, ancillary. It's law. It's paying out. And it's $80,000 of stimulus checks. Why was it not on broadcast media? Why was it not on print media? Because they, my folks, my friends, are not LI Light. And tonight, we're going to go over more about these incredible checks starting right now. These $80,000 of checks are what are detailed to the membership of this channel as the homeowner's grant. It is for homeowners. If you're a renter, I got money for renters in just a second under third stimulus. The situation is fascinating, and it's great. But it all started no less than two weeks ago. Let's go over the details starting right now. First, it's law. Two, second, it's nationwide. Third, it's for you. And fourth... The membership of this channel have been getting it. It is $15,000 to $80,000 per household, number one. Number two, the qualification is the same as a stimulus check. Single vigil, $75,000 less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you can get it. Now, it's not doubled like a stimulus check. It is fifteen dollars to $80,000 per household. The great news is that if you're on SSI, SSDI, VA, or any beneficiaries, you could get these money. So let's go over the details of this big money and how do you get it? You become a member. Let's take it back to day one. Two Fridays ago, the President of the United States announced this major program and no one covered except here on Evenings LA. Announced that Friday and immediately was featured by me for the membership of this channel in the membership newsletter that night and every membership newsletter thereafter and will continue to be featured every night. How do you get this money? Become a member. The link is under the video and at the top of the chat. Let's go over all the details. This is the homeowner's grant. It has a longer name featured in the membership newsletter, but that's a shorter name for purposes of this channel. It pays fifteen dollars to $80,000 per household. It's offered nationwide. It can be paid out to anyone who falls in that income zone, including a veteran, for example. And it's absolutely incredible. Pays for home repairs, mortgage assistance, Property taxes, uh, nominal uh, items like uh, utilities sometimes, and also association fees. Lots of items across the board. How do you get the money? You open the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it's featured right at the top. At the top, it features the full name of the program. It features the link to go right in to apply. It features the eligibility. It features the items and more than even featured in this recording. This is the benefit of becoming a member. So become a member. The link is at the top of the chat and underneath the video. Meantime, if you're a homeowner or a renter, you can also get third stimulus. Yes, I got money for all of you. And third stimulus is coming up later in this video. Now let's go over the application process. The application process is like day one of this channel. On April 25th, on a deserted beach during a lockdown, of 2020 in Hermosa Beach, I pressed the first recording to announce the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program. It was not live anywhere in the United States, but it was accepting applications. So I told the two viewers, there are two at the time, I told the two viewers to apply today, April 25th. They did, and guess what happened? 
when the program went live in some states on April 28th, three days later, they woke up and there was a direct deposit on their account. Yes. For the people who waited to April 28th to apply, guess when they got paid? One month later, three months later, it sometimes never got paid. So that's why you don't want to wait. Let's look at that map tonight so you understand where we are on this map. There are different colors. Let's go over the colors, but also go under the importance of how to apply. After you finish watching tonight's recording, you want to immediately, if you're a member, open that newsletter tonight at 7 o'clock and apply. What I want you to take away from is that every state has this money, number one. Number two, some states are in pre-application mode. Some are about to roll out, but every state will have the money. Let's go over a comparison of the states. For example, California, Texas, Florida, New York, Teal. Why? That means they have the program application portal open and they're paying out money. So they're receiving your application now and they're also paying out the money. In the case of Ohio, South Carolina, Colorado, that pink color, what does that mean? It means you can submit your application, but they'll pay you later. So what do you do? You apply right today. You don't wait. You apply today because if you wait, you get pushed back in line. You want to be front of the line. Purple Hawks, pounce, baby. Don't wait. Next, if you're in another color, gray, green, what does that mean? It means, I'm telling you, go apply. If you go to the website tonight and it says it's not open yet, then open it tomorrow morning. Open it tomorrow afternoon. Don't wait for me to tell you to apply. I want you as a member to watch your website and get the application in the minute it accepts an application. Don't wait three days. Don't wait four, three hours. If you're not a member, sign up right tonight. And there you go. That is $80,000 of checks. Law. The Build Back Better add-on, and you want to get those big checks right tonight. Now, later in this video, we will be looking at rent assistance and homeowner's assistance and home repairs. Overlapping? Yes. Makes sense? Of course. If you've learned something from this channel, when we talk about stimulus packages, they often overlap. So do not worry about the numbering system. Let me explain the numbering system on this channel. When I say six stimulus package, does not mean you have to wait and get fourth before you get six. Currently, you're getting third and fourth at the same time, right tonight. Third is paying out and fourth is paying out to the viewership of this channel. Have you gotten it? Tonight you will. Six is about to start in just about four weeks from now. So six, fourth, and third will be happening at the same time. Meantime, viewers last night said, can you talk about fifth? I will talk about fifth right now. Let's differentiate everything first. First stimulus package was for COVID. Second stimulus package was for COVID, never became law. Third stimulus package, Joe Biden, the American Recovery Act, early 2021, was for coming out of COVID. And that has the rental assistance still paying out and the homeowner's assistance coming up later in this video. Fourth stimulus is for coming out of COVID. Fifth stimulus is still happening for my individuals on benefits. It's the Social Security reform provisions. And six stimulus for Putin. More about that in a second. So is this stimulus still happening? It should still happen. It's not front burner, but it is still happening. And while we talk about SSI reform with swapping COLA for benefits right now, the marriage penalty, the asset cap, the income cap, they all have to go by act of Congress. That's why this stimulus still needs to get done. All right, let's turn back to the breaking details on what you need to know about six stimulus. Tonight, six stimulus gets a major twist and turn, and it's huge. And what is six stimulus? Let's go over the details starting right now. Six stimulus is Putin stimulus. It's everything caused by Vladimir Putin. And while you may think six stimulus is just for oil, tonight it's a lot more. Why is there six stimulus? Let's go over the notion of why there is six stimulus. Recession. Yes, two weeks ago. I started using the R word on this channel. Now you see it everywhere, broadcast, print. Why? Because I have been telling you this a long time ago. Let's go over the equation. The current status in the United States and for our partner allies like France and Germany is that the current impact on our economies because of sanctions on Vladimir Putin are not sustainable past the month of May. Here's 
the first example, the price of gasoline in the United States at $4 a, bear, a gallon currently tonight, according to AAA, are not sustainable levels any longer. If they remain at current levels through the month of May, we're going to recession. So that is why six stimulus exists. But let's go over the history of six stimulus. On March 8th, 2022, I first recorded the first video for six stimulus. I said that Vladimir Putin, his items need to be removed. We morally must remove Vladimir Putin's items. And our, our Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, had said the same. We need to get off of Russian products like Russian oil. That was that night. I also told you that night that countries like Germany had initially said, no, I can't get off of Russian products, and then said, yes, we will. What happened? It was the birth of six stimulus. The birth of six stimulus was Germany's statement, is, was Germany's statement that night, which is, we will get off of Russian products by doing an allegiance between the Western allies, like France and the United States, that involves, one, domestic spending and raising the debt, and two, spending on our citizens. The concept is very simple. We must get off of Russian products, but to get off of Russian products, we need to raise the national debt in our respective countries and give money to our citizens because no one can afford $4 a gallon. Where's gasoline tonight, by the way? The national average for gasoline in the United States, according to AAA tonight, $4.32 a gallon, a little bit less than yesterday, but just by pennies. And the Brent crude is down about 6%. No reason to celebrate because guess what? Unsustainable. At current levels, we're going into recession by May. And tonight, the situation is worse across the board. Let me tell you part of what's going on, case in point. Item number one is that six stimulus will be happening because Putin has negatively impacted our gasoline at home and our partner gasoline. And where are we tonight? Very, very troubling. Number one, the gasoline situation in the United States, no change than day one of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. On October 2021, I told viewership of this channel, the number one economic story of 2022 would be Vladimir Putin. Why did I say that? Because I said there's 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukraine border, and if he invades, expect that to be the economic story of 2022. I predicted it. Who also predicted it? The White House. The White House had told Treasury Secretary in 2020 at the same time, do an analysis of a potential impact on the U.S. economy by that invasion. They did the analysis, but the problem was they did not have ready the backup. The backup is the oil. Tonight, the situation is no different than with the White House. Two situations to deal with, our oil and our partner's allies' oil. Let me tell you where we are tonight, and I got to tell you, it's not good. First, our oil. The White House has the ability to ramp up production of domestic oil, and it's not. That is the first problem. Second, the White House has not found where to ramp up the domestic production, because a little bit more problematic than that. At issue is our oil is not dependent upon Russia, 3%. But our oil is going up because our partner allies are dependent on Russian oil. And because Russian oil has now been embargoed, the price of oil will go up domestically. So we need to get more oil produced domestically to bring down some of the price of gasoline internationally. How do we do it? We increase production. When you talk about increasing production to bring down price of gasoline, it's not a record rocket science concept. In fact, if you ask anyone at the gas station, ask anyone at the lobster stand, they'd say they understand gasoline's going up because of Putin. They understand we need to increase production. So why haven't we? Let me tell you the status tonight. Status of tonight is that the White House has been hearing from Texas oil producers since day one of the invasion that they would increase production, that they need the clearance from the White House. The White House has not given that clearance. Last Friday, the White House had its energy secretary say we like the idea of increasing production. Liking the idea is not increasing production. It's just saying you like the idea. And where you increase the production is even more problematic. West Texas won't work. Their gasoline is not ready for refinery status. It can't go into our pumps. It's not Russian 
Middle East or Ecuadorian or Venezuelan type oil. It's too rich. It needs to be refined. So the oil would have to come from the Gulf states around the curve of Texas. That order hasn't come from the White House. So production domestically has not happened. If domestic production of gasoline doesn't happen, guess what? You go into recession. Item number one. Item number two is our partner countries. They are in a much more bigger bind. Here's what you need to know. Is that if we solve our price of gasoline, if we increase production domestically, we don't bring down the price internationally. We need to get more gasoline released. And that involves not just domestic production, but international production. And what has the White House done with this? Nothing. Let's go over the situation tonight, country by country, potential solution by solution, and I'll tell you why it's going from bad to worse. Number one, the White House needs to understand, or certainly understands, but hasn't done it, that the partner countries like France, Germany, and Italy get 40% of their oil from Russia. And to pivot off of Russian oil means that they need to get it somewhere else. That somewhere else is not lined up. Number two, Vladimir Putin's watching me or watching someone because he said the following, that he will turn off oil to those European countries before you embargo him. So he's vowing to wake up one morning and turn off Germany's oil. Imagine your partner country has no oil overnight. It's going to recession. And then if they go into recession, you're going to recession. No one has set up a contingency plan in the White House. No one has set up a contingency plan among the partner allies. So what are the options and what's happening with each of those options tonight? Let's go over country by country. Number one, Venezuela. The number one biggest oil producer and exporter of the oil across the globe. Why can't we get oil from them? Because they're also the most sanctioned country in the United States. So the United States has basically sanctioned country after country and suddenly can't get oil. The United States has to decide who it wants to unsanction to get some oil. Number one, Venezuela. Should we unsanction Venezuela get oil? The White House hasn't even considered the situation. Number two, Iraq. The United States has not reached out to Iraq to increase production, but guess who has? Putin. And has said, don't increase production. Iraq is part of the OPEC alliance countries, and Putin has reached out to them as partner of the OPEC plus as well and said, don't reach, don't increase production for America. I don't like them. United Arab Emirates, also part of the OPEC plus countries, and they're not increasing production as well because of Putin. Two points for Putin so far. Point number three, Iran. Putin's winning on this one as well. Iran was in negotiations with Joe Biden going into the weekend. And the democratic leadership of France and Germany to get more oil. What were they doing? They were trying to get a nuclear agreement with Iran that would involve disarmament of nuclear warheads in, in Iran that would lift their sanctions and release their oil. Guess what happened? You can guess right. Putin got to them. Said Iran, don't do it. I don't want you to do a deal with, a, with the United States. And then the deal, the negotiation stopped. On Sunday, as broadcast on evenings L8, the United States and Germany and France were shocked in Vienna when they learned that Iran would not come back to the negotiating tables because of Putin. Putin, three points there. Point number four tonight, China. More about that in a second. So the oil situation is getting bad to worse with just about six weeks to go. Remember, the current price of oil, not sustainable. The White House, not increasing production domestically, not getting partner allies any of this oil. And if no one gets a solution, hello, recession 2023, two years of recession, very bad situation. But this is what six stimulus is for. Item number two, six stimulus is also for wheat and grain and soybean. And here the White House has done Zippo on this as well. Let me go over what this involves and why the White House can fix this one easily. The wheat grain industry is seeing the highest price escalation in 10 years. Why? Again, yes, that guy, Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin is invaded Ukraine and Ukraine is a major exporter of wheat and grain to the world. 
Now that wheat and grain is not available. So guess what? If there's less of something, the price goes higher. It's a very simple concept. And because of those farmers of the Black Sea near Odessa cannot farm, they can't export. Because they cannot farm, they can't prepare the soil for next season or the season thereafter. And because Vladimir Putin's bombing, he may be ruining those crops for years to come. So how do you solve this equation? First, you have to. Price of wheat and grain is going to 10-year highs in not just the United States, but Germany and France. Unsustainable. The economies will go into recession. We can't afford these prices. So how do you do it? This, folks, is about as simple as basic math. You go to your farmers in your respective country and you give them subsidies to increase production. Flood the market with wheat. Joe Biden understands this. He hasn't done this. Go to the farmers in the United States, give them subsidies, give them federal grants immediately to ramp up production of wheat, soybean, corn, any commodity interrupted by Vladimir Putin, give a wartime subsidy to increase production, flood the market with the product. We have enough farmland, we have enough farmers. Do it right today. Now, as a, as a non-farmer, I don't know the time frame to get the crops ready. I don't know the ability to supplement the absence in the market, how long the rollout is. But nothing's being done. If it's a six-month rollout, if it's an eight-month rollout, nothing's being done to supplement the absence of the supply in the economy. And if the absence is there for three years to come, imagine the impact on this economy. That is why the president needs to get this ramped up right away. And it's very simple, but it's not being done. And guess what? Again, if it's not being done, then where we head into recession. That is item number two for six stimulus. That is why six stimulus need to be done right away and will be done. Number three is the banking industry. The banking industry alone could send us in a recession. Why? In less than seven days, but potentially by tomorrow night on evening to late, March 15th, 2022, I may be reporting to you the following news. Potentially tomorrow, that Vladimir Putin's economy has gone to junk bond status or in default. If Vladimir Putin goes into default, guess what happens? The U.S. economy could be negatively impacted as well. Let me tell you why. At the time of tonight's recording, we do not know the investment profile of U.S. banks in Russian bonds and Russian equities. If the position is large, the losses will be large. U.S. banks will have to announce those losses in their Q2, Q4 earnings reports. And if they have a half billion loss, a $500 million loss, because they were invested in a Russian bond that became devalued overnight, get ready for that announcement. It's going to be nothing like you see in the history of this channel. It's going to be a very bad situation. And that is why six stimulus is needed for the banking industry. And who would know that better than anyone else? Joe Biden. The biggest stimulus package this U.S. government has ever seen was the Obama-Biden bailout of the banking industry at the end of the George Bush Jr. administration. It was so severe and so important that Bush allowed them to work on it during the transition time to president-elect to president. And it bailed out the banking industry right before it went under. Remember, you don't want the banking industry to go under because you will go under. You'll go into recession. So, so far, through Sunday, March 13th, when I record for stimulus, six stimulus, I would tell you six stimulus is being pushed by the Democratic leaders, the progressive leaders of Germany, France, and the United States because of oil, because of wheat, and because of banking. But tonight, a new twist, folks, and it's a twist that no one wants to say. It may be because of China. Yes, tonight I'd be concerned that China could signal and send us all into the recession. And let me tell you why. At issue is a major intelligence report released today, obtained by Allied News, that says that China was approached by Vladimir Putin to help the war in Ukraine. This is not good. Let me tell you what the report says and what happened today in Rome. The report says that Vladimir Putin reached out to the leaders of China for two things. One, military support in Ukraine, and two, economic support at home. It's the economic support that I want to go over. The economic support, basically, according to the memo, says that Putin wants China to bail out Russia for our sanctions. Oh, does he dare? 
he does dare. So what happened thereafter? Let me tell you the breaking news. I've been having the coverage of this all day long since early this morning at 9 a.m. live on air. The detail tonight is no better than it was at 9 a.m. Tonight, we go into evening's LA broadcast, this one-hour special report, with the latest update out of Rome. U.S. envoy to, to China and the China envoy to the United States met today in Rome to talk about, in seven hours, what was detailed in that intelligence report. The Chinese official would not come to agreement. That's the breaking news. The Chinese agree official would not confirm the report, nor deny it, nor agree to anything. No bueno. Let me tell you where we are right now and why this is bigger than even 60 of us. This could be the biggest economic story of 2022 to 2024. When you talk about world economies, China is a major economy. It is not a Russia. It is not a Venezuela. It is huge. And the United States cannot sanction Russia, cannot sanction China, because if it does, we're going into recession. Tonight, the situation is so scary, we may indefinitely go into recession. Let me tell you the situation tonight. It started with officials from the United States and China meeting in Rome early today. They met in Rome early today, and the context of the meeting is in dispute. Let me tell you why it's in dispute. First, initial reports said the officials were meeting because of the intelligence report. Then later today, they denied they were meeting because of the intelligence report. They claimed they had already scheduled this meeting a long time ago. I'm not going to draw straws on that part. Rather, I'm going to go with the official quote tonight. The official quote tonight obtained by Allied News from the State Department spokesperson Ned Price says, we're watching very closely to what PRC, People Republic of China, or any country in the, war in the world is doing to provide support materially or economically, financially, or otherwise against the state of Ukraine and against the people of Ukraine. We've been very clear, both privately Beijing and publicly at Beijing, there would be consequences for each support. If China does choose to materially support Russia in this war, there will be consequences for China. We've seen China basically give tactic approval to what Russia is doing by refusing to join sanctions by blaming the West, and we are watching it intently. What does this translate to you? Folks, this is very scary. Let me tell you the analysis tonight. The analysis tonight is that China has not come out and say we're denouncing the war, number one. China has not tonight not say that we refuse to provide any money to Russia, number three. China tonight is not is saying that it will not be pushed around by the Western allies. And it will not say whether it will or won't give money to Russia. So as to the issue of giving money to Russia to offset the sanctions, China will not say anything about it. Not good. And why is this not good? Because what are you going to do next? Sanction China? Yes, we would sanction China. And that would send us into recession. Because guess what? We do major business with China, and we can't keep on sanctioning people left and right if we don't have a backup plan. You already see in this recording how the sanctioning of Vladimir Putin did not have a backup plan for oil, wheat, grain, or the banking industry. And now three weeks into this invasion... The White House has still not gotten oil from partner allies. The White House has tried to get deals with Iran and Iraq and seen Vladimir Putin interfere with it. And tonight, the United States in sanctioning Russia is now seeing China potentially not take sides or take sides against the United States. What next? Sanctioning China? Very, very fluid situation across the board. Let me tell you what's happening. Number one, morally, you have to sanction anyone that takes sides with Vladimir Putin. But economically, you also have to have prepared your backup plan. How do you pivot, pivot off a dependency against the country you're sanctioning with? And if you sanction all your alternatives, then what do you do? You have to lift some sanctions against someone, like Venezuela. You can't sanction Iraq, Iran, China, Russia, and then suddenly have no one to get the product from. Where do you get the product from? You have to figure out where to get the product from. If all you're left if, is with no product, then guess what? Either you ban the product in the United States like wheat or suddenly we go into recession because Americans need wheat and there's no wheat for us to eat. Very, very complicated, but with no solution at hand and no pivot by the White House, even more complicated. Tonight, the situation is added with another twist, which no one saw coming. And tonight, that word is COVID. Yes, 
even before what happened with China early this morning, Monday, March 14th. On Sunday, March 13th, another twist from China, which was a sixth wave of COVID. That sixth wave of COVID is sending China into a tailspin economically downturning. And that tailspin could negatively impact us like 2019, like 2020. When our products from China were not able to be gotten, our products made by U.S. manufacturers in China were not able to be imported, guess what? Supply chain issue 2.0. This is before we get to anything else from Vladimir Putin, and this would cause recession or inflation or both. Very, very complicated, and again, no solution on that front. COVID is its own problem amongst itself. Where are we tonight? Number one, in the next 24 hours, we're going to see a lot of things unfolding. First, we're hopefully going to see the president speak about the situation with China, and we may hear the word sanctions because in that comment and that quote I ran for you just minutes ago, which is brand new breaking news tonight, the comment from Ned Price, a State Department official, is that State Department uh, spokesperson, my apologies, w did not use the word sanctions, but left open the option. Next, we're hoping to see by the end of this week if somewhere in the strategic alliance of France, Germany, and the United States, we find an oil producer. We haven't found it. UAE is the real frontline option, I think. OPEC Plus, I think, is the one that makes the most sense because we have no sanctions against the OPEC Plus countries like an UAE. That is where the oil likely would come from. The White House needs to get that allegiance and get that oil produced and needs to get that deal going because at the moment, Venezuela doesn't seem like an option. It remains sanctioned by the United States and no one's talking about removing those sanctions. Iraq and Iran, you know, Iran is not happening. So at the moment, that doesn't work either. That is why you need to get that ramp up. Then domestically, someone in the press corps needs to ask the question, Mr. President, what are you doing with the commodities like wheat and grain and soybean? Why aren't you increasing production domestically by giving the farmers subsidies? Flood the market with the product, bring it down, because this would send us a recession. We have yet to see the impact on the economy with the banking industry. But in the next 24 hours, we could see Russia default. And what would that cause the U.S. economy to do? We'll see that impact as well. By the weekend, we'll also see if Putin does take the capital of Ukraine or doesn't. We'll see if Putin does advance on Odessa or doesn't. And we'll also see whether the issue of oil makes, Black, makes J. Powell pivot in that FOMC meeting tomorrow, March 15th, and Wednesday, March 16th. A lot of major things that could happen in the next 24 hours. And guess what? If they happen, they're on Evenings LA. And if they happen live, they're on Mornings LA. Tomorrow morning, the FOMC meeting heats up in, in Mornings LA live on air. All the latest details on that. Plus, all the latest details of what Joe Biden is doing with China. We'll hopefully see a little bit more clarity than the fluid words across the board. Finally, rent assistance. Great news on third stimulus. Viewers continue to get third stimulus, and it's still available. And one viewer in, who watched this show last night got that money. Who is that viewer? Let's go over the details. Last night, Brian Graves was watching this channel, and he said, Hey, LA, from watching Evenings LA in prime time, I got eight more months of rent. Thank you, Purple Power. He's a member of two months. If you remember this channel, you will learn how to get that rent because it's featured in the newsletter. The night before that, on March 13th, we had Mel, we had Simba get $5,900 for rent. And on Saturday, we had Melly get an incredible uh, $9,000. Melly Pin, which follows Carol Moore that day, who got $5,000, and David Allen, who got $10,000. So where do you get this money? From becoming a member. Let's go over all the details starting right now. Open that membership newsletter and get these big sums of money. First, you're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, and your county house authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Three must, you must do. You must reach out to all three places, six places. You must get applications on file everywhere. And you must do multiple rounds. If you got a round last year, get another round right now. Lean on those nonprofits and open the membership newsletter. Remember, the membership newsletter features those $80,000 of checks and that homeowner's grant. 
and the membership newsletter features this money for rent and also the big money for the nonprofits. So get that membership newsletter by becoming a member tonight. Then, lean on the nonprofits because they do home repairs as well. Small appliances like a refrigerator or a furnace and also great assistance for rent, utilities, and more. The average view of this channel has gotten $45,000. Get it today and do not wait. Right after this recording is done, go become a member. If you're not a member, open the newsletter tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and get this money and also get that application on file for the big $80,000 of checks. If you haven't become a member, the link is under the video and the membership newsletter comes out Monday through Friday via the YouTube alert system. The YouTube alert system is delivered to you much like the alert you would have gotten to watch tonight's video. It's not email, it's not PDF, it's the YouTube alert system. Tomorrow on Evening's Ally, we'll have the latest details on that $80,000 of checks. We'll have the latest details on what happened with that FOMC meeting day one. We'll have the latest on what's happening with that letter to the White House. Why the White House got that letter and what was the response to that letter. Well, the latest indicators of where inflation in SS300 could be impacted from that FOMC meeting. We'll have the latest on six stimulus and why the issue of China is making it problematic and even more threatening across the board. And then we'll have the big updates on Build Back Better Act and the latest from the president to get more money across the board. Thank you for a big night for watching America's Most Watched Show in Prime Time. It's Evenings LA. Every night, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.